I'm Tony Fast, and my family's been blessed to be able to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. A lot has changed in those 100 years, and it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome back. We've got uh, air drills ready to go into the field. we got some winter wheat we're going to top dress this week, and then an elevator call, and we're going to haul some grain later on. I'm just kidding. That all happened like two weeks ago. But you obviously got some snow. So I'm finally getting around editing these videos. How far do you think you can throw this? Got the sprayer all ready to go. You can see these uh, nozzles we've got on here have three little holes in them. And that's what the fertilizer is going to come out of and go dribble on the ground. And uh, so we'll give it a shot. I think we're ready to to see if everything's working. Kind of hard to see, but there is a little bit of green down there. We did not put much uh, fertilizer down when we planted the winter wheat. We were a little worried about winter kill and the survivability. And uh, so we wait till the spring to put it on. So we know if our uh, crop is going to be there. Well, we're having troubles with our variable rate maps loading for our sprayer, for our top dress. So they're working on getting that all straightened away with the uh, agronomist is working with the guy that wrote the maps. But uh, meantime, we're gonna go haul some derm. Finally uh, taking derm again. So gonna fire up all three trucks, or three of the trucks I should say, and we're gonna go haul some grain. these prescription maps loaded finally and a prescription map is a file that we put on our sprayer that uh, will automatically change the rates of fertilizer being applied on the field. Uh, these different shades here represent the different uh, values, different rates, different amount of fertilizer we're putting down on those sections of the field and it takes the fertilizer from the poor soil and puts it on the better soil so that we can raise a higher yield. be wondering why is there so much stuff out there besides winter wheat. This was a lentil crop last year, well an attempt at a lentil crop last year. And lentils are one of those crops that we just don't have a lot of options for weed control in. Nothing like wheat or canola where we can kill pretty much anything but the crop we're trying to grow. Um, there's lots of buckwheat that took over in this that really choked the crop out and set it back. And then you get the tall stuff out there is volunteer canola from the previous year. And that canola really didn't hurt the yield at all, but that buckwheat set it back. And then on top of that, it had hail before harvest. So we didn't combine this last year. It got hailed out and we had a disc drill, hired a disc drill from a neighbor. He came in and he seeded the winter wheat with a disc drill that would cut through those vines and 
whatever residue was there because we wouldn't have been able to get through it with our hoe drills or our precision seed masters. This 20 gallon fertilizer work sure feels like I do a lot more pulling up the truck to fill up than I do springing. Last load to come off this truck right now. We got Hayden running the sprayer now. I'm gonna hop out, go get the last uh, file loaded on to a thumb drive for the last field. And what do you think, Hayden? Got it all figured out? I think so. So I can come back in September when harvest is over? Yeah. favorite parts about this sprayer is how it shuts off nozzles automatically where it's already been sprayed. Watch this. That's a wrap on top dressing the first round hopefully of winter wheat. If it rains uh, quite a bit in late May and June we'll hopefully be putting another coat, another layer, another coat, another application, whatever you want to call it, down on the winter wheat to boost the yield a little more. But uh, right now we're heading home and gonna wash out fertilizer out of the sprayer night yet so that's the plan so thank you guys for watching my dad's show I can't I don't remember what it's called but I'm sitting in the office and I am editing his videos so thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoy watching the in the kitchen with Natty G Editing the best. Oh, she cracks me up. She was not really editing. That's what I get for uh, leaving my camera way around, I guess. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. Until um, next time, God bless. Have a great day.